Yes, what you've seen in the thumbnail is true, it's unaltered. There are all kinds of animals, cows, dogs, cats, and there are even some cases in humans with completely absurd amounts of muscle, beyond what would be normal without using substances or steroids. Today, I'll explain how this is possible, why it happens, and trust me, it's going to be a pretty interesting video, though a bit different from what I usually bring. All these cases of huge, bodybuilder-like animals are caused by a myostatin deficiency. Firstly, what is myostatin? It's a protein in the human body encoded by a gene that limits muscle growth, preventing not only the formation of new muscle fibers, but also the hypertrophy of existing ones. Why would the body do this? Since having too much muscle mass isn't necessarily positive, it could have very negative effects on agility, speed, and require significantly more nutrients to sustain all that mass. Excess muscle could negatively affect bones, organs, and bodily systems, even leading to heart issues. Thus, the body has myostatin to prevent such outcomes. However, if the gene encoding myostatin is defective, leading to a myostatin deficit, or what's also called the Hercules gene, some animals, and in rare cases, humans, are born with this modified or damaged gene. One commonly known case is the Belgian blue cow, possessing a mutadion inhibiting its myostatin, resulting in a dramatic muscle quantity increase, around 40% more muscle, not double as often claimed. These cows aren't injected or given anything harmful. They're naturally born and raised this way. For the cows, there's no real benefit. It's extra weight to carry around and possibly some minor wins in bovine bodybuilding competitions. However, for humans raising these animals, with similar care and not much extra feed, these cows can produce up to 40% more muscle per cow, making them an intriguing breed for farming. Some of these animals might experience bone deformities, which is a negative side effect. Moving to other cases, there are excessively muscular dogs, particularly the whippet breed. More prone to having a defective myostatin gene due to human selection and crossbreeding over time for certain aesthetics or functionalities. This genetic condition doesn't just randomly occur. Sometimes it's intentionally created through genetic engineering. Humans have modified lab mice to study the effects of myostatin deficiency. One striking observation was a 40-80% increase in muscle mass in females and up to 127% in males, significantly more than observed in most animals. However, these bodybuilder mice had fewer offspring and many were born dead, indicating the detrimental impact on health and species perpetuation. Similar phenomena occur in pigs, goats, cats, fish, and most vertebrates. As for humans, with our population size and reduced natural selection, certain genetic defects like myostatin deficiency occasionally occur. There have been documented cases like a German child in the early 2000s and an American child in 2005 exhibiting this deficiency. In 2019, Eddie Hall talked about the Hercules gene and myostatin, undergoing tests that surprisingly showed no myostatin deficiency, but a genetic predisposition to endurance rather than strength. So, most excessively muscular individuals likely have other genetic factors or lifestyle influences, not necessarily myostatin-related. Research on this has potential utilities, such as treating diseases like muscular dystrophy or combating muscle loss in older adults. However, it could also have significant health implications, including increased blood pressure, heart hypertrophy, and severe consequences from excessive muscle mass. This requires extensive research, and eventually, it might become a new form of doping without the use of hormones or substances, enhancing muscle mass storage and preventing its breakdown. This video took a lot of effort, and I hope you found it interesting. Stay tuned for more in the future.